Hello, my name is Joel Z. Williams, and people in my neighborhood call me the Poor People's Advocate. The purpose of today's lecture is to teach people the Missouri Method. Now, the Missouri Method is essentially how to build a CO2 trap to capture, to first lure and then capture bed bugs. And through this series, this is a three part series, I will actually explain the mechanism of it first, then I will show you how to assemble it in the second series. In the second video and in the third series, I will talk about some of the things that you can do to improve the effectiveness of your trap. Now, let's begin with a discussion of Greek mythology. I know that sounds crazy, but there is a character in Greek mythology known as Achilles. Achilles was a uh, champion, a very strong warrior, good fighter, but he was also human. And the gods took favor on Achilles, and one god lifted Achilles up by the bottom of his foot by his heel and dipped him in bronze. And uh, so Achilles had a suit of armor, bronze armor, and he was impervious to spears and swords and, and things of that such everywhere on his body except for where the god had grabbed him at the heel. So hence the term Achilles heel or weakness. Um, in an otherwise impervious system. The bed bug Achilles heel is their, their I wouldn't say desire, they, they are a blood obligate type of insect. They need blood, a blood meal, in order to transform into the next molt, into the next molt, and, and there's six molts all together. So they, their Achilles heel is their need to feed on blood. Another weakness that they have is that they are essentially blind and they sense CO2 primarily through a sensor that we would probably, the closest sense that we could equate it to would be the sense of smell. But they have a poor eyesight but exceptional smell. And that means that they are able to detect the um, odor, if you will, of CO2 at 20 to 30 meters away. So very good sense of smell, very poor eyesight. That is also their Achilles heel. And using this method, this Missouri method, I'm going to show you how to put together a bed bug trap that is going to exploit both of those weaknesses of the bed bugs. Their need to feed and their method of defining their meal. Now, every mammal on the planet uh, that has, you know, mammals are typified by their use of blood. Um, ex ex exhales CO2 gas as a, a waste byproduct. When you, when you breathe in oxygen, your body is essentially mixing that oxygen with sugars and other lipids and converting that to energy. And the byproduct, the waste byproduct of that uh, transaction, of, the, of that chemical reaction, is CO2 or carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is emitted by every mammal on the planet, without exception. And so this, the bed bug has, uh, I, I would say, thrown in its lot for survival by making its sense of, of detecting CO2 its primary means of detecting a blood meal somewhere nearby. And by, because we know that, we can exploit a CO2 generator and lure them to the trap. And then once they uh, are in the trap, of course, they, they're not able to get out. So that, in a nutshell, the, the Missouri method, this is the method of using a CO2 emitting um, lure to get bed bugs to, uh, to attract bug, bed bugs to it, and then a secondary mechanism to capture them is the Missouri method in a nutshell. Now, a couple things I want to talk about the physiological uh, makeup of the bed bug. The trap relies on the concept that bed bugs use what would be best described if you were to watch alpine hikers where they use a pickaxe to, you know, it's a, it's a sharp edged handled weapon or tool, I should say, that they would use to spike into the ice and pull themselves up. That pickaxe method of ascending is very similar to the way the bed bug 
crawls along your sheets and finds its way to you when you're laying in your bed at night. So if you, if you can imagine the bed bugs uh, have these spikes on their forearms that they're literally pulling themselves up your sheet to, to find the blood meal, which is you. And uh, because they, they have that mechanism, we can exploit that by creating a, a false ramp or a false access point where they believe they are ascending to a blood meal and before you know it, they're falling into a trap, a one in which they're not able to extricate themselves from. So that, in a nutshell, is the Missouri method. Um, let me finish this video by saying, if you have the means to hire a professional pest control operator to come out to your house and spray, I would encourage you to do that. At this time, the pest control operator has very powerful chemicals that they spray. Um, and those chemicals will kill any crawling insect, but in particular, it destroys the bed bug because it attacks them at their um, egg level, uh, which is very resistant to other, other means of uh, insecticide or, or pesticide. So, and the beauty of a PCO, a professional um, pest control operator is that if their system fails, you can always, they're usually warrantied and you can recall them if your um, bed bug epidemic resurfaces. So that's the beauty of that. Now, eventually the bed bugs, as, as we are seeing now, they are developing resistance to these pesticides. And eventually this method, the Missouri method, will be one of only a few methods that will work. The Missouri method does not rely on the, um, tox uh, the pesticides to kill the insect. It relies on CO2 gas to attract them and CO2 gas to kill them, as well as in, um, imprisonment. So they, they cannot escape the, the trap. So there, this is a, a more non-toxic way of killing bed bugs. And I believe once the pesticide, the bed bugs have built up resistance to the pesticides and, and they are uh, permanently resistant to anything we can throw at them, the Missouri method will come back in full force. But right now, I would like to say, um, if you have the means to pay for a pest control operator, I would encourage you to go that way because that method is 100% um, um, effective in, in all situations and they can be recalled. My method requires that you have some skill in building the trap and that you build it precisely the way I tell you. Otherwise, it's not going to be effective. And <clears throat> so if you, if you take that lesson to heart, then that'll be good. Um, I think I've said everything I want to say here. The, the whole Missouri method, the uh, entire, all the materials and, and everything you're going to need shouldn't cost you more than $20. In fact, in the next video, I'll, I'll detail the ingredients that are required, but most people have uh, most of these essential items already in their kitchen. Okay, so that uh, brings us to the end of this video. Again, my name is Joel Z. Williams. People in my neighborhood call me the poor people's advocate. You will recognize me by my white hat, but you'll know me by my virtuous ways. Thank you.